Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on Grizz TV, brought to you by the Evans Law Group. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Campy after a big road win here in Cleveland. And Coach, a basketball team needed to win badly, and you got the job done here today. Yeah, that was that was our focus coming into this game. That you know, we had a really heartbreaking loss on Thursday night, where we actually played a pretty good basketball team against one of the better teams in the league, and we had the game won. And in the last two minutes, you know, we made a million errors. And which culminated in uh, letting a guy go 75 feet up the floor and not be contested, um, which been around a long time and I haven't seen many of those games ends like that. So to have that punch in the gut and have to go in the locker room and look talk talk to your team and and that uh, you know we 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 decided to put everything into this game that you know this is the game of the year now we have to get this win to get that you know going and. And, uh, you know, to keep hope alive that, you know, we can finish in, uh, you know, there's some sweet spots to finish in in this league because of the way the tournament's set up. And you want to finish one through four. Um, there's not a lot of difference between three and four, and there's not a lot of difference between one and two. And, you know, so right now the hope is to try and get in one of those four spots. And we had to win today to do that. And, and we got it. We got it. And it wasn't real pretty, Neil, but we got to win. You know, Coach, when you look at it, too, what you guys did defensively the last five minutes of the game, you held them without a field goal uh, for the last five minutes of that game, turned them over three times in the final two and a half minutes as well. I mean, through all that, you know, the, you, you did miss some free throws coming down the stretch, but through all that, the defense never wavered. Well, there's been a, a very consistent theme in our games other than the Wright State game, where we just got killed. Um, and that is we've guarded our – we've come out prepped, kids have prepped well, uh, they buy in, and the first 10 minutes of the game, defensively, we've been phenomenal. Uh, I, I bet if you look at our first 10 minutes of games, the points per possession, the number of points given up other than the Wright State game are just off the charts. Detroit, uh, Northern Kentucky, Youngstown State, Cleveland State. And what happens during those 10 minutes is we are so bad on offense, and we consistently make the mistakes and not be able to make shots and turn the ball over that instead of like tonight it should have been 35 to 8 at one point and it was 18 to 8 and then eventually they're going to make a shot and eventually they're going to create baskets off your turnovers and that's what happened tonight they, they, they had 17 of their 26 or 7 points at halftime off our turnovers in the last five minutes of the first half were I, I believe, I said this, I think, on your radio show afterwards, that those last five minutes of the first half might have been the worst five minutes of any of basketball of any team I've ever coached. It, it, it was really bad. And uh, we came in the second half and, and went out there and really played a good second half. And, and Kevin Kangu took a big step forward today. A big second half by Kevin Kangu, indeed. So, Coach, now roll over to Green Bay and Milwaukee. Uh, certainly always a tough trip. And... Uh, you know, it'll feel good, though, for the bus ride home and then it's back to work. Yeah, you get a road when you would really wish you were going home and playing the 15th and 16th place teams in the league. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're getting on the bus and maybe going and playing the second best team in the league on the road in, in Green Bay. I think I think they're, they're legitimate. Them, Youngstown, Northern Kentucky, I think those three teams are legitimate teams that could finish in that second spot. So... Um, yeah, we got to prepare. We got a week to prepare, and we got to go see what we can do. What kind of sandwich are you feeling after the game? What are you going to roll with? Uh, I'm probably probably just going to drink some Diet Dr. Pepper and leave it at that. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time. All right.